Check this out. I built a lightning rig, but this is the coolest thing. It lights my green screen. It works perfectly. The studio has completely transformed since I moved in. I moved in in November 2018. And you should have seen it. What's the best way of showing? I have an idea. So I saw this really cool video by Vanity Fair and it's called Notes on a Scene. They got Tiger ITT and Stephen Merchant to come together and go through a scene of Jojo Rabbit. This, this is Notes on a this Scene. Is Notes on a Scene. Notes on a Scene. Notes on a scene. Notes on a scene. So they put a camera up above, aiming right down onto like a screen. And then they talk through one of the scenes from Jojo Rabbit by drawing on the actual screen. I just thought this was such a creative way of breaking down a scene and explaining what was going on. I wonder if I, I should create, create something like that. I'm gonna create something like that. Before I get into this, I first need a coffee. So this is set up now, and I'm gonna show you the transformation of my studio from when I first moved in in 2018 to now, 2020. So this is one of the first things I filmed when I came to the studio, that you can see there's nothing on the walls, it's really plain and bare. And even here, look, this is all tape on the window. I actually had to tape the window closed. The studio was looking a bit, a bit run down. So yeah, it needed a lot of work. So this is the same shot that you're seeing now. You're looking into my studio, and you can see this was my old mezzanine. This was what was here originally when I first moved in. This thing was a death trap, you know. Imagine standing up here, right? This, you could easily fall off. I knew at one point this had to go. You can see as well, I used to have these stairs right here, and these are literally vertical. They're like, they were like that. So going up and down them, that was like risking your life every time you wanted to go upstairs in the top part up there. Just, yeah, bad idea. But yeah, this is what it used to look like. Could you imagine coming into this every day? I just had no motivation when it was like this. I had this horrible green screen wall up here, which was made out of like a big bit of green fabric, which was awful to key out. It had all these like huge creases in it and everything. It was, it was just rubbish. Look how messy the space was. Look at all this junk, literally everywhere. Everywhere, just stuff. Just no motivation coming in here. This was not a creative space, this was just a, a tip. It was like, could you imagine a bomb going off right here and just blasting everything? Crap. This, this face right here, this kind of summed up my mood at the time. You can see this is quite unhappy well. This wasn't overly happy. The space wasn't what I wanted it to be. I had all these like thoughts of what it could be in my head, but getting there, that was, that was the tricky bit. So you can see in this shot, the mezzanine is already built. And the reason why I didn't film it was because I was in such a rush to get it up because I was just so eager to have it finished. In the studio, I always found myself building. I had this protruding piece of wood out here like this. And this actually was connected to, uh, there was a beam right here that ran across from one side of the room to the other. And in the middle I had like, like up here, I had this drop down camera. I needed to put these planks of wood here and then build the green screen wall out. Green screen complete. And there you see, this is the green screen now here. And right up here, this is what I was talking about. This is the drop down bit. I had to clamp it in up here all the time. So like I had to go up a ladder and then try and balance the camera. That was another death trap. I needed a new design, something that, that worked much better. So I started thinking. So it was about time that I got rid of these bloody horrible stairs. So right here, I'm bringing in all the parts to a set of new stairs. Right here. And I built a rail. Safety first. 
friend of mine came over and we decided to build this rig, this. It's made out of like a metal structure. On the other side of here are like strips of LED lights. The idea was to hoist this up into the top part of my studio. So I've redesigned the drop down. So yeah, now I'm cutting all the poles into shape. The studio is coming on slowly. So the idea with this is to build a thing here. So this would be there, connecting, connecting, and connecting. And obviously these are the poles down like this. The whole thing is flipped up like this and aiming down. And then on top is a camera slider like this. And the camera will sit at the end right here and shoot downwards. Three. So the idea with this was to build the rig like this, attached to ropes. These ropes are then attached to two ropes down here. And I can pull either side and the whole structure will do this. So this studio has been completely transformed. Remember two years ago walking into this room and what it looked like. It was just a bomb site. And now, every time I walk through the doors, I'm excited to get started. I want to make something, which is the whole point of this space. One of the most important things for me in my space is to have lots of greenery. All of this here, all green. And it all hangs down over here, like this. I just absolutely love this, just love this. Look at this greenery. And now you can see <laughs> how much do I look like a thumb right now, look. Anyway, now you can see this bit, how it works. I have all of my tripods all here. And I also have, right here, I have my chargers for my cameras. These are my light batteries, and these batteries light these. Right here is my first Chili's bottle range that I did. And they're up here, pride and place, on my wall. I also have a camera right here that films my entryway, just in case anyone tries to break in and steal stuff. It's the bad idea. You're gonna get caught. Now, if you go up into my office space, you can see it's completely transformed. I now have a sofa. I have an area here where I do all my editing and stuff. I have all the books right here that inspire me. And this huge workbench right here. And this is where I prepare all of my prints and everything, and I whack them in these tubes right here. So this is where I spend about 70% of my time. I'm planning new art pieces, I'm planning videos, I'm editing, I'm having meetings up here in this space. I'm so proud of this space. So that's about it. That's a breakdown of my studio from 2018 to 2020. There's a lot that needs to happen still. It's constantly evolving, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I get a lot of why am I so OCD or obsessive about this space. And it's not so much about that, it's just pure functionality. I mean, there's so much shit in here. All of it's used, otherwise it wouldn't be in here. And you have to keep track of it. So every minute that I spend looking for like Velcro tape or my drill gun is a minute I'm not doing something productive. So why not build an infrastructure that supports that rather than uh, encourages the chaos?